Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2023 Honda Ridgeline all-wheel drive RTLE. Absolutely beautiful granite silver uh, exterior color. I'm actually a pretty big fan of the Ridgeline. Um, I think of all the unibody trucks out there, including the EVs, this is probably one of my favorite. Uh, starting off up front, you're gonna have that kind of old school style Honda Pilot uh, front projector and incandescent headlight with the LED accent lights. Your LED fog lights and indicator lights are right down here. Front facing parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Beautiful gloss black front bumper with chrome surround. Coming around to the passenger side, we got this nice black plastic fender flare, fender flare that transitions into a black plastic um, rocker panel applique. Grayed out, I believe this is a 18 inch Honda wheel. It's got a 245-60 R18 uh, Firestone Destination all-terrain tire on it. Color matched and black mirror cap. Blind spot monitoring as you'd expect. Passive entry, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger side door. Not a huge fan of chrome, but I think it's kind of tastefully done with the, uh, the doors. I do like the gray color a lot. LED and incandescent tail lamps. All wheel drive badging is on the passenger side. Ridge line badging is on the driver's side. Dual chrome tip exhaust. Parking sensors integrated into the middle portion of the bumper. Your seven pin connector is gonna be on the left side of the trailer hitch. Coming around back to the driver's side, we've got your lockable uh, capless fuel fill port. I really do like this truck a lot. I think they did a good job. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting out over here on the driver's side door, we have all the uh, window controls for the vehicle, your lock and unlock button, storage tray, storage tray, lockable uh, fuel cap right there, all your mirror controls, your econ button, parking sensors off, lane keep assist off, collision alert, uh, traction control off, cargo lamp, wiper blades, or wiper button I should say, and then your uh, 115 volt uh, onboard power in the bed of the truck. Coming up top to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the, or speedometer is in the middle right there, LCD screen in the middle as well, and then some other various gauges on the side. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have a nice leather wrap steering wheel with very mild bolsters at 10 and two. Metal paddle shifters on this guy. The left side of the steering wheel consists of all of your audio controls for the vehicle as well as your different um, uh, card system. Under that, we have your heated steering wheel button and then your steering wheel mounted uh, call buttons. Over on the right side of the steering wheel, we've got the um, uh, all the buttons for the cruise control as well as your gap adjustment for your uh, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist button, and then we have all the buttons for the center LCD display underneath that. Dimmer switch for your instrument cluster is gonna be right here. This guy does have push button start. Um, touch capacitive buttons for the touchscreen display. I believe this is the older style touchscreen display. I'm not entirely sure if this has wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, it seems like it's just the older generation compared to what Honda's putting into their vehicles now. Dual zone climate control, hazard light button, heated seats for the captain's chairs, massive cutout for two plus size smartphones, wireless charging mat right here, you have a 12 volt, 180 watt power outlet down there as well as a USB port, ambient lit cup holders, gear selector, push for park, pull for reverse, push for neutral, push for drive, push for sport. This right here is your different drive modes. It does toggle an animation up on the instrument cluster. This is your automatic start stop off. It is on by default. Then we have this massive open kind of bench uh, tray right here pull on this giving us access to an LED lit storage compartment with another uh, 12 volt 180 watt power outlet and auxiliary USB jack. Really nice center armrests that are kind of customizable to how you want them. Leather seats, glove box is going to be right here. Coming up top to the vanity it's going to be incandescent lit for your passenger as well as your driver. Up top on the headliner, we have your glasses storage and your child monitor mirror, as I like to call it. Then we have your dome map light master controls, as well as it looks like some incandescent ones as well, which is kind of weird. 
Then we have the power sliding rear window button as well as the button for the single pane sunroof. Overall, pretty uh, pretty impressed with this interior. Uh, the touchscreen does seem a little bit dated, but I do like the layout. Everything seems like it's um, at perfect reach for the driver. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. I want to point out these seats do fold up, giving us access to an almost load flat floor, if you will. Um, unfortunately, not much room for me in here and there is no grab handle on the B pillar. If the seat was up just a little bit more, I think I'd have a little bit more room. Um, still more room than like a typical like um, small size truck like a Ranger, Colorado or Tacoma. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Rear air conditioning vents, storage shelf and then two USB outlets for the rear passengers. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And then you have a decent amount of headroom and then your grab handles are integrated into the outermost portion of the headliner. And then up top in the middle you have an incandescent dome map light. So. Pretty nice. I wish I had just a little bit more room back here, but again, this is a smaller size truck. Let me show you guys the bed real quick. It's actually pretty cool. So there's two ways to open the tailgate on this vehicle. The first way is the conventional way. You're just gonna pull this and it's gonna come down like a normal tailgate, which is pretty cool. But the second way and the cool way is to come up to the passenger side underneath the all wheel drive badge. There should be a latch. You can actually open it like a massive door so you can get in here and get to your items a lot closer. Also, if there wasn't these small dirt bikes in here, I'd be able to show you. You can lift up on this right here and it gives you a massive, massive in-bed storage compartment, which is huge. I mean, you could, this would be like one of the ultimate tailgating vehicles. You can fit probably 100 cans of beer, glasses, beer bottles in here. It's, it's, in, it's huge, okay? And there's a drain plug in there too, so you can use it as a cooler. You've got some storage right here. I believe you can get this with a bed speaker as well. LED cargo bed lighting on both sides. And it looks like you got four tie down points on the back, two on each side. And then it looks like you got um, one up front on the bed itself and then one on the floor in the form of like a D ring. So pretty cool. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's the window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2023 Honda Ridgeline all wheel drive RTL-E. Modern steel metallic is the exterior color. It's got a 280 horsepower, three and a half liter V6 engine and a nine speed automatic transmission. Suggested MSRP is 44,730 or 44, yeah. As equipped, it's $46,025. Fuel economy rating is gonna be right here. This vehicle is rated at 18 miles per gallon city, 24 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 21 miles per gallon. There you have it, the 2023 Honda Ridgeline, all wheel drive. Absolutely beautiful looking truck. I think Honda has knocked it out of the park. Um, I would say by far Honda has been my favorite um, manufacturer at the auto show this year. I think their interior design and exterior design is absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date on more auto show content, um, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.